So hey everybody out there, I am Dino Cazares, a guitarist from Fear Factory, Asasino, Divine Heresy, and numerous of other projects. Today, we are going to go through reaction videos, and it's going to be my reaction watching these videos, which is my first time ever doing this. I'm excited to check them out. I've definitely seen quite a few people. I've seen them all through YouTube. As a matter of fact, that's kind of like how I even found my new singer. So let's check it out. self by the sister. Classic Fear Factory song from the album Demanufactured. One of the cool things is that we actually wrote this song for the Mortal Kombat soundtrack, but they ended up uh, choosing another song from the album, Zero Signal, which uh, went on the album, the soundtrack, and it sold more than a million copies, which is really cool. I'm always waiting for the melodic part, because you know, most people can sing all the heavy parts, it's the melodic parts that a lot of people have a hard time with. And actually, she's, she's pretty much nailing it. Um, this act, this girl, Rachel Aspie, is one of the girls who actually originally tried out for Fear Factory a while back, or at least she submitted songs for a tryout. Yeah, she did a great job. You know, if you guys ever want to listen to what we would sound like with a girl, there you go. All right, the next song we're going to get into is Lynchpin, and it says full band cover, so obviously it's a full band. Again, Let's see how they do in the melodic part, and uh, let's play. It's one of the easier songs of Fear Factory to play. Uh, I like the guitar tones, it's killer. It sounds great. Um, but again, they picked one of the easier songs to play with the hardest songs to hit the high notes, because the, the key is pretty high up there on the, on the melodic chorus. But I could tell they're from the singer is from somewhere else because you can hear his accent because he goes, you can hear that duh instead of the. Two duh. He needs to work on his accent, but besides that, he nails it. Yeah, I think I think as the band as a whole, I think they did a great job. Um, cool little video. Singer singer nails all the parts. It's pretty cool. So this next song that they picked for me to react to is a band called Epica, which is a huge band. And they're um, from the Netherlands, from somewhere in Holland. And they told me they covered the song. Before I heard it, they actually told me, they contacted me and they told me they covered the song. They actually asked me to go and perform with them. This is, I don't know how many years ago, eight years ago, 10 years ago, somewhere around there. And uh, they played at the Whiskey Go Go in Hollywood. And I went there and I jammed this song with them on stage and it's really cool to hear their take on it it's so different and it's like these operatic vocals in the chorus so if you haven't heard epica do replica we're going to check it out now yeah the heavy part that's the guitar player singing that part uh, he did a good job i like how she treated the vocals she put a little distortion on the vocals which is really cool. I think the most interesting part is when the melodic chorus comes in, she totally has a different approach on it. Yeah, she really gets that those high notes in there that I could never sing. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's a really cool cover, man. You guys picked some really good songs for me to uh, Really good versions of these songs for me to react to. I think it's killer that they did it. Yeah, if you guys really want to get close to my original guitar tone from the manufacturer or this song Replica, get the Tone Forge Disruptor because you'll be almost identical to that. So here's a guy named Kevin Frassard. This guy's like massive. His arms are massive. Like, look at this guy. Shows us how I'm freaking out. I see him on here on YouTube and he's just super fast. I can't believe a guy that big can play that fast. But he actually chose a, a slow song to play, which is, which is kind of interesting because he normally just is always ripping. You see the veins popping out of his arm like that. Nail the harmonics, nice. You know, it's funny because I was always told like if you if you get that big, that you know, your arms are going to be a little bit more stiffer. So it would like be harder on on your speed picking, which 
obviously he proved that theory wrong. Yeah, this, this is pretty cool. So check him out, Kevin Brassard. All right, the next we're going to get into, I'm not sure what this guy's name is, but he's doing a demanufactured guitar cover. So let's see how well he does. D manufactures our second record, and it was on Roadrunner Records, and for us it was like definitely opened the doors for us to travel, you know, touring around the world. I mean, we went everywhere on that record. To get a decent tone, sounds pretty good. Actually, on on that part, I'm doing all, all pretty much all down picking. We kind of went up and down, up and down. That's all down picking. Just kind of going like that. Sometimes I do it live. If I want to get lazy, I'll do that live. But it's mainly all down picking. See if he gets this right. Yeah. Yeah, this guy does a really good job of playing this song, you know? There you go. Demanufactured. This is a drum video from a guy named Eugene. Uh, let me see if I get his last name right. Rybinchenko, Rybinchenko. Something like that. He's doing Fear Factory Power Shifter cover, drum cover. A lot of people send me links to their YouTube to see them cover these songs. And a lot of times I check them out. But anyways, this guy, I remember a while back, he did something and I was like, well, that's not that big of a deal. You should try the song Power Shifter from Fear Factory because there's a, there's a hi-hat part that's like stupid fast. I mean, our the drummer that we had at the time couldn't actually play it, so we had to program it. So this guy wanted to prove a point because I kind of like made a comment saying, hey, that's not that fast, but you're playing. And so what he decided to do was speed the song up even faster. It's pretty insane. And then later on, I find out he's in Flesh God Apocalypse, which is like a ridiculously, insanely fast band. And so let's check it out. So there it is, there's the hi-hat part. And he's trying to be, uh, he's trying to be a little bit of a smart ass. He's trying to like prove me wrong. Yeah, I can do that, watch, whatever. So there you go, 250 BPM. But you know what? Let's see if you can do a faster one. I want to see a 260, 265. Come on, Eugene, you can do it. Throw some blast beats on it. And then I'll record it right along with you, too. All right, man. If you guys want to hear Power Shepherd sped up really fast, check out this guy. And that concludes our reaction videos to all these guitarists, all these insane drummers, these bands, and killer vocalists doing covers of Fear Factory songs. Now, you should go pick up the Tone Forge Disruptor plugin because it has all these different features from all my various tones through the years. The main one is the replica one. It, it, it's the amp from my D Manufacturer album. That tone is available on there and also has many other features as well. It has the Martyr, which is the, the more cleaner uh, amp. Uh, so some of the clean songs that, like, you know, Dark Bodies, that, that clean tone is on there. You also have the Protomac, which has some of the later albums, tones from those records. And also you have many, many pedals the things you can mess around with that you can add or take out and you know i got a lot of the lo-fi pedal which is some of the stuff i use on the digimortal record it's got the, the chorus pedal stuff that i use on the song descent that that heavy clean melodic with chorus pedal on it which is really cool so go pick it up it's available today thanks <laughs>